The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 89, a taste of home. Survival difficulty, class one, safe, secure, minimal entity count. Level 89 is the 90th level of the back rooms. It was discovered by a wanderer who ventured deep into level 11 and entered a gateway into a cherry tree grove. Description. Level 89 takes the form of a 1940s ice cream parlor. A wanderer arriving here will, 98.7% of the time, appear at the entrance of the parlor, with a canopy sign atop the front door reading, A Taste of Home, established 1938. The exterior of A Taste of Home is pristine, with no signs of damage or flaws. The walls are the color of a rosy, muted pink, and the roof is a creamy beige. Flowers are commonly spotted decorating the field around the building, varying from roses to asters to white lilies. The scent outside smells faintly of smoke, cupcakes, and blood. The parlor is surrounded by Cornelius cherry trees, which presumably stretch on infinitely. Attempts to walk away from the parlor and through the trees will eventually bring the wanderer back to the building. As such, there is no point of exit from level 89 through the infinite grove. Upon entry, one will be greeted by faceless cutouts of ice cream scoopers. Once inside, the interior is as clean and immaculate as the outside. However, unlike the exterior, the walls are a dark blue-gray. Coat hooks can be found near the front door, a few occupied by a few black jackets. Posters outline the walls, filled with fun war propaganda, in which the now extinct party poopers made an attempt to convince explorers to join their side in the battle against the party goers. Because of this, it is believed that this level was a place of refuge before their extinction. The inside of the parlor is spacious. Velvet seats and tables are great in number, enough room for small outposts and communities to form. Inside these seats are compartments, in which one can find bottles of almond water, twin fingers, and occasionally, level keys within them. Every so often, evocationaries can be found on the counter. Wanderers are heavily advised to ignore or destroy them. The front counter is also safe to enter. The ice cream counter freezer is filled with a variety of ice creams, all safe to consume. The toppings are all confirmed to be fresh and edible, and, once finished, will be refilled by the end of the week. The counter is allowed to be entered and used so long as it is not abused or kept from others. Thus, it is thought that this is how the party poopers were able to bring food to fellow party poopers and wanderers in level 52. Besides, the front counter is an employee's only room, with a popped balloon tied to the door's handle. This door is heavily blocked and guarded by one of Level 89's communities, for their belief that this entryway was used as transport by the partygoers before the party poopers broke bonds with them. Any attempts to enter the room will be proven futile. There is a back door in the parlor, which always leads to either level 11 or level 6.1. This entryway is frequently used by Sweets Station to access extra supplies slash snacks that the level doesn't have. One may be allowed to access this entryway if they are to volunteer on trips with the Meg Group or members of Sweets Station, see bases, outposts, and communities, entities. Every now and then, adult and child facelings may walk into the parlor. They will bear the same effect as facelings on level 11. They will wait at the front of the counter until someone comes up to take their order. It is unknown where they come from prior to entering. Lest one has the ability to comprehend voiceless orders, it is recommended to leave facelings alone. If engaged in physical combat, the entities will revert to their default state and attack. Besides facelings, evocationaries and fellow wanderers are the only entities that occupy level 89. 
bases, outposts, and communities. Sweets Station, the first community to have been formed in this level, which consists of five adults and three children. This group is open to trade and will answer questions if need be. Only one or two of the members in this group tend to go out to venture for extra supplies that the level doesn't have. Heavily guards the employees only room. If unable to block the room, they will pass the role to the members of base cone campers. Meg, aka the Major Explorer Group, base cone campers. This team was created to keep tabs on the employees only room and to interview wanderers who come from potentially dangerous levels. They are close with the folks of Sweets Station. Group consists of 10 people and are willing to accept volunteers. Open to trade and will answer any questions. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Entering a gateway into a cherry tree grove deep into level 11 will lead to level 89. Imagining an ice cream parlor in level 18 will lead to level 89. Finding and going through a pink door in level 6.1 will lead a wanderer to this level. Exits. No clipping into a cherry tree outside the parlor will lead an explorer into level 11.1. Walking out the back door will either take a wanderer into level 11 or level 6.1. Completing all three states whilst holding an evocationary will lead one back to level 18. No clipping by touching a high school class schedule poster near the counter will take one to level 52. It is believed that entering the employees only room will take a wanderer to level fun. Because of the door being guarded at all times, this has not been proven.